hello guys um, so today um, I want to do <laughs> um, yeah next whatever that is called um, I'm just starting this walk through I see we've got a couple of questions there I'll try and see if we can take on some of them and um, maybe do a walk through to showcase how to solve this challenge okay so i'm using the track means um, attack box and here it is i've done a few things one i've done it in map scan so i found um v sports and services open uh, if you're wondering how this is the command that was used service version and default script okay then um i've done a bit of uh, go buster on the I want to use Jira search but it's not installed here. So on the um, IP then I found um, JavaScript and Nagios. So from the name Nax I suspect it's Nagios. So I went up after Nagios although we can see that response code 401 and if you've been following with us probably you'd have heard us mention reference um, response HTTP response code and the 400 or between the 400 down to 499 line within that client error message and um, 401 being what we call on I think unauthenticated or so then um, taking that juice we discovered that um, running that their buster go buster again on that juice we found all these directories with 301 301 from our understanding is a redirectional message so which means uh, 301 should be uh, permanently uh, moved or moved permanently so all this has been moved to somewhere else obviously that doesn't make sense uh, because you can't do nothing with it so I went on the browser to visit Nagios the directory Nagios I'm just going to take this off to show you so um, then this came up so tinkering around um, initially I had gone over the IP address and I found something that looks like elements or not looks like actually those are elements of the periodic table so this had been given so um, I'm using my intuition and a bit of research uh, see if I can map those elements to the periodic table and find the numbers and maybe now do um, a conversion from ASCII to maybe text to see if that can give us something useful. Now we can just write this file out um, just to keep it in there. Great. So we have got all that stuff. Now the next thing to do is maybe if we can assess CyberChef. Let's see if we can do that. We'll just sort this thing out a bit. Mm. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Oh, it doesn't seem like a, a, a file. So I'm going to copy this and maybe go visit that and see what it looks like. So I'm going to paste that in here and take this over. I'm going to clear the screen, then maybe pass that here, if that's probably uh, something useful. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what this is. If you know. You better come help me. So let's go do some check. Maybe exit tool might be able to help if it's here. Okay, um, so I tried to download this funny stuff, it didn't work. So what I did was um, I used, um, I moved back to my Ubuntu box actually. I used um, wget to pull down the file. And um, this is the file. This one was actually corrupted and fly. So you 
can see I tried on this, I didn't see nothing. Then on the second one, using EXIF2, I was able to extract some metadata which are quite useful to answering the questions. So let's just go and start uh, maybe taking those questions and see which of them we have. So I think we have this one first. What was that funny name? It was um, PI3T.PNG. Okay, who is the creator of this file? We can see that name there, page, whatever. It doesn't sound like a French name, I don't know. Let me copy that, I'll paste this here. Then, if you get an error running the tool, okay, so this was just trying to talk about GIMP or uh, other tools, but I think I'm fine. What is the username you found? So, uh, upon doing a bit of uh, research, uh, what I did was um, I'm going to bring up a browser which I used to do that in the background. So, um, this was what I did, and maybe I should go back. So, I found this uh, pretty much in PySAQ.py. So, I was able to upload that image in here. Then this was able to extract um, username and password stored within this funny color stuff. So you can see the username is Nigeus admin. That smells like the default username for Nigeus. Then the password is all the way. You can see that's encoding. I printed an ampersign. So this is the password. I'm going to copy that. Um, I'm just going to take this. For easy um, screen real estate, <laughs> I'm gonna move this over all the way to. Okay, I think I can put it here, just so we can all be working on one screen. All right, so it's gonna force me to do that stuff again. I'm just gonna do it again. Um, this is the image. Um, I'm not a robot. Then execute this. Okay. If all things work out fine, we should get the same username and password. So we can grab this username. I think that's the username they had asked for here. Username I found, paste that here. Then what is the password? We'll take that gibberish stuff, which looks like an encoded or encrypted text. I don't know. And I'm going to go put that thing over here let's verify if that's the password or we have to look for a way to okay that didn't work so let's see oh so did we copy the right thing i'm just gonna go back there let's say between the ampersand so it's from this point all the way to this point and that looks like it's uh let's try that again Oh, okay, so I copied more than, what? <laughs> okay. Uh, not just admin is included in the password, for real? I don't think that would be the password. I think it's not the password. So we have to look for a way maybe to extract the password only. I don't think that not just admin stuff would be included because that's the username. Uh, stop here so what is the CVE um, researching the CVE I went to uh, exploit DB so I searched for not juice I can go back just to show you I came back with 15 results then drilling deep I found the authenticated remote code execution which is actually a Metasploit module so we might be using Metasploit to exploit the box so the CV is what we have here. I'm just going to copy this and properly format it in the submission panel. CVE, then we'll paste the rest part of it. Okay, so now they say now go ahead and uh, exploit this. So we're going to have to spin up Metasploit uh, to do this. I'm going to um, screen real estate <laughs> MSF console. Okay, let's start up Metasploits. 
And let's just read after middle split has started. Let's search for target exploit using. So um, this you can do with search exploit also. Um, but we'll just wait for. I think I have middle exploit already running um, somewhere in another browser, in another terminal. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's the web based version. So because I have the I'm using my work kind of my work machine, so this Metasploit is actually a paid version uh, with subscription. Okay, so we're gonna search uh, for um what's it called again? Nagios. Let's just search Nigerians. We should see the particular one which we had seen from such exploits if that works. Okay, so let's go look for it. Much checking around, um, I discovered it uh, since I'm using an updated meta exploits. I think some renaming had been done on that exploit module. It's quite different. So it's this particular one check plugin authenticated RCE. So we're going to copy this and just use that here. Um, plugins authenticated. Oh, sorry. Check. Mm, just take this whole thing off and just copy this because that's the one that worked with the submission. So you can see that's the one we're using here. Plugins check. Okay, so we say commission the machine and locate user the text. So let's try to exploit this. Let's see. We're using Linux x64 meta preload reverse TCP. That should be fine. Options. Uh, just to set uh, L host turn zero, which is a um, VP open VPN. I think the port is fine. Um, what else do we have to set the arrow host okay arrow host we're going to plug that ip address in there i'm going to copy this and i'm going to set arrow host and paste that over there just to check one more time um if there's anything else we need to check that's the path that's the username okay that works pretty fine on port 80 we are fine Although I've seen, uh, initially I found 443 as well, but uh, this looks fine. Let's run this thing and see what happens. Um, oh, I didn't point, oh, sorry. I didn't point the, the password. I should have put in the password because we found the password as well. So we're going to set um, password. Uh, I'm going to copy that password which is this here and we paste that value here then we'll run this again okay this should give us that uh, callback uh, we can see so this is authenticated in address target appears to be vulnerable uploading malicious check png or check ping plugin uh, basically if you want to understand in detail what this exploit is doing um, I advise you kind of spend some time to do some reading just so you understand. It's always good to know what an exploit is doing. I might not be able to explain all that here because I try to keep the video pretty short. So we can see it's sending the stage uh, uh, payload. Then this might take a while, this might crash, but we're going to try again if it does crash. Okay, so. We have um, a meta trader. I'm just going to drop into shell. Uh, I know this is a Linux system, so I can see that prompt there. ID. Uh, I'm going to we straight up your roots. I'm just going to um, do the Python um, three. Uh, I should have verified probably uh, Python three dot v. Let me just see. Okay, it's there. Python 3 tag C. We'll do the imports pty uh, pty.spawn. Let's spawn a bin bash shell. Mm. 
being bash. Okay, that looks pretty good. Uh, we should get a bash prompt. All right, great. I think at this point we can look around and find um, the other parts of the question. So let's go back to the challenge and see. We are supposed to compromise the machine locate user the text. So let's see where we uh, see the home. Mm, I didn't complete that Python command thing, so I still don't have a very CD gland, uh, gland. Okay, in gallant we should have the user cat user dot text. We should have the user flag. So we're going to take this and go submit this quickly. Then the next challenge would be to do that for the roots. We already know that we are um, roots straight up from uh, exploiting the box. So maybe just a few more look around we might find what we want. So I'm just going to cd to root. Uh, I don't think I need any exploits to run anything there and cat root dot text. But uh, um, okay, I'm going to take this and I'm going to show you something. I think I've showcased that in a couple of videos. We can do the sudo tag l in case we're not able to switch to roots. We may find if I exit this uh, and back to this, I can do sudo tag l uh, more or less. But I already see here I can run all, I can do everything, so there's nothing holding me back basically. Um, anyways, that's uh, the workaround for this challenge. I believe uh, it's been cool. I hope you love the content. Once again, please do like and subscribe, um, and um, we'll see you in the next recordings. Thanks for your time. Bye bye.